السلام عليكم. The M-plasty is a tissue sparing technique. It was developed primarily for facial surgery, in which removal of a lesion on the skin of the face together with its surrounding safety margin uh, usually leaves you with a circular uh, margin that should be transformed into uh, an elliptical or a fusiform shaped excision in order to avoid having dog ears. Uh, this would entail um, removing of extra bits of skin on both ends of the uh, safety margin. The amplasty was developed to spare a part of this extra skin excision uh, while avoiding having dog ears at the end. While removing a lesion like this together with a safety margin around it with the dotted lines, uh, you cannot really uh, close this wound by sutures without having dog ears at the two ends. To avoid this, traditionally, an elliptical shape of the wound or a fusiform shape of the wound is adopted. And this would avoid having uh, dog ears at the end, but on the expense of, using, of losing this triangular piece of skin on both sides of the safety margin. The amplasty is a tissue sparing technique. It preserves a part of this uh, piece of skin that would have otherwise been lost in order to avoid having a, a dog ear. Uh, this would, uh, the design of the amplasty would be centered on the edge of the safety margin and extend to the margin of the uh, ellipse, uh, would preserve this rhomboid shape of skin on this side and a similar one on the other side. So it, it saves skin while it, where it is really important to save skin, like working beside the eye or working beside the oral the, the lips or the nasal bridge. The uh, problem with the emmaplasty, of course, is that very good alignment of these three point angles would have to be achieved while suturing the wound. It's crucial to have very good alignment of the uh, three-point junctions. The amaplasty is not the only tissue sparing technique. In the previous presentation on avoiding dog ears, we've been through some other ways of trying to preserve some tissues while avoiding having a dog ears, like the inverted triangle technique in which two small pieces of inverted triangles are removed rather than the full ellipse uh, of the uh, traditional way of avoiding a dog ear. And it ends up with a wound not um, dissimilar to the amaplasty shape, uh, the final shape of the amaplasty. The other technique we've been through is the aseplasty, which while not primarily a tissue sparing technique, it can be combined with amaplasty as well, so that you can have the um, reorientation of the wound with the aseplasty and the tissue sparing with the amaplasty at the end. So the amaplasty starts with having the uh, drawing the standard elliptical or fusiform uh, excision of the wound that you would have otherwise. Uh, do it if you don't employ the uh, amaplasty. The lesion together with its safety margin are marked, and then you take equal lengths along the uh, long axis of the ellipse. So that would be your ellipse in here, and that should be like three to one length to breadth, and an acute angle at the apex is less than 30 degrees. Now, rather than removing this whole piece of skin at the edges, you start drawing an M-shaped margin, new margin, centered over this point on the safety margin of uh, the excision and extending to the sides of the ellipse. And now you have an M-shaped uh, incision on both sides of the safety margin. And that's all what you have to remove. You would be sparing this 
two small rhomboids, one on each side of the wound, which is important if the eye or the eyelid are close by. You will be removing the central portion with the lesion and its safety margin, and this M-shaped uh, structure on the two sides of the uh, excision margin. Now you will end up with having acute angles in three places on each side, and this is very important to have them aligned, these three point junctions, while suturing the wound at the end. You've saved a little piece, piece of skin, on, but um, you will spend a little bit more time trying to realign all the angles correctly. The real thing about the uh, emmaplasty is not only to mark the emmaplasty well into your incisions, but also to uh, perform these three point junctions uh, well under the skin surface. So use the same technique we use in the subcuticular stitches, but with an absorbable type of sutures. Uh, so you just go in the deep dermis under the angles, the three point angles coming out from the other side without uh, penetrating the surface of the three points. And now once you have this three bites and the three angles, you can tie your knot in one direction and then the other, and then you bring about a very good approximation of the uh, three points without having any sutures on the surface. And this would uh, prevent compromising the blood supply of the angles, which is already decreased uh, by adding any sutures on top of it. And of course, after having this uh, subdermal sutures, you can put on the usual uh, 5-0 or 6-0 nylon sutures to the skin, again, avoiding putting any sutures, any further sutures in the three-point junction. The m is an essential a technique in facial surgery to avoid having dog ears while sparing some tissues where skin is very uh, important to preserve. The main thing about the emmaplastis is to master having the three-point uh, subdermal suture in order to have excellent alignment of the three angles um, along the emmaplastis. Salam alaikum.